All right, so in one of our uh, last videos on YouTube, we put out how to do the dopamine calculation using the formula method and also the clock method. Um, but today we're gonna show you an easier option. Uh, we call it the street method. Um, but I'm going to preface this by saying that the most definitive and accurate way to get a dopamine uh, calculation or a dopamine drip calculation is to use the formula method. Okay, so this method is going to get you close. It's going to get you very close. But the formula method is always the best way to get the most accurate dosing. Okay, but we want to show you this because we think it's helpful not only on exams, but also at 3 a.m. in the back of a medic unit when you need to give a dopamine drip to a patient. <clears throat> So before we dive into what the actual process is, uh, I want to emphasize two things, and I'm going to harp on this consistently throughout the video. What we're about to show you is good for five microgram per kilogram per minute dose order, and it is assuming a concentration of 1,600 micrograms per ml. So this is good. This formula we're about to show you, this method we're about to show you is good for five mics per kilo per minute. And the concentration is 1600 mics per ml. Okay, you have to know those two things. So what does it actually look like? So in our first video talking about dopamine drips and dopamine calculations, we use a patient's weight of 186 pounds. So we'll just stay there. Now in that first video, we also used a dose order of seven micrograms per kilogram per minute. We did not use five, we used seven. So the numbers aren't gonna be exactly the same, but we'll, we'll stay with the same patient weight just for consistency. So 186 pounds, if I needed to give five micrograms per kilogram per minute, and my concentration of my dopamine was 1600 mics per ml, which comes out to be 400 milligrams and 250 mLs, 800 milligrams and 500 mLs. One of those concentrations is going to get me um, my 1600 mics per mL. So if I have those two things, five mics and a concentration of 1600, all I need to do, take off the last digit, subtract by two, and that gets me 16. 16 drops a minute will get me five micrograms per kilo for this patient. So let's check our work and then we'll look at a few more. So if we do the formula method, which I said is always gonna be the most definitive method to do this and the most accurate method to do a dopamine calculation, five micrograms times 85 kilos, because that is 186 pounds converted to kilos, times 60, so I'm trying to figure out how many drops per minute I need to give. Divide them all by a concentration of 1600. That comes out to be 15.9375 drops. Obviously we can't give 0.9375 drops. So I'd round that up to give 16 drops per minute in order to achieve my original order of five mics per kilo for my 186 pound patient. So let's look at another one. Um, I'm just gonna pick a random weight, um, 221. So 221 pounds, in order to get my five mic per kilogram per minute dose for this patient, take off the one, subtract by two, 20 drops. So 20 drops per minute should give me my five microgram per kilogram per minute dose for this uh, 221 pound patient. So let's work it out in a formula. First, we need to convert our weight uh, to kilos. So 221 pounds is equal to 100.4 kilos. Now let's actually fill out our formula. Five micrograms times 100 kilos times 60 divided by 1600 gets us 
that should get us 18.75. Now, in the beginning of this video, I said that this is not the most accurate way the formula method is, but this is going to get you really close. Our method that we just showed you is going to get you really close. So I came up with 20 drops. The formula method came up with 18.75. Now, again, I can't give 0.75 of a drop. So if I round that up to 19 drops, the method that we did originally, which was 20 drops, we are one drop higher than what our formula method is. So we're still pretty close. So that's gonna help us out with patient care in the back of a medic unit. I mean, we're one drop off, and it's also gonna help us in determining what the correct answer on the exam is um, by getting us very, very close to what that formula method would give us. So just real quick, that only is that helpful with five mics, but it can also be helpful with <clears throat> a 10 mic order, a 15 mic order, or a 20 mic order. So if I had, if we knew my five mic order, if this would quit moving on me, was 20 drops, then my 10 mic order, we just double it because we're giving double the amount of medication. We're trying, we're not giving five micrograms per kilo per minute anymore. We are trying to give 10 micrograms per kilo per minute. So this would go to 40 drops, 15 mics, would go to 60 drops. So it can get us real close to 5, 10, 15, 20 mics as we just double the amount of drops we need to give. But we can also make a better determination of those oddball orders. So let's say I am ordered 7 micrograms for this 221-pound patient. I know that if 5 micrograms is 20 drops and 10 micrograms is 40 drops, seven micrograms has to be between 20 and 40, right? Probably somewhere around 30. So let's work that out and see what we actually come up with. Seven mics times, oh, we're not doing 186 pounds anymore, times 100, times 60, divided by 1,600. So seven times 100 times 60 divided by 1,600 gets us to 26.25 drops a minute, which lines up because that is between my 20 and 40 drops. So hopefully this was helpful. Again, it's a, it's a quick way. Um, to make a determination of how many drops a minute you need for that five microgram patient. Typically, it's never gonna be uh, off by more than one drop from the formula method. So it's gonna get you really close to where you need to be. But again, that formula method is the most accurate and definitive way to calculate a dopamine drip infusion. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any other ideas for videos, please feel free to reach out and thanks for watching.